This is episode number 150 of the Freelance Blend podcast. And this is a very special, emotional uh, episode of the podcast. Um, if you haven't heard, um, so today is Feb 24. Um, so two weeks ago, my father passed away. Uh, because of a massive heart attack. And it was really a, a big surprise. Um, hindi namin inexpect because uh, he never had a, uh, had a stroke or had a heart problem that we knew of. And uh, it was really so fast. Um, my dad was 73 And um, so the, that's the reason why I haven't been able to uh, post a podcast episode. Um, and I was thinking of uh, whether to uh, post for this month of February or not. Uh, but I thought of honoring and um, celebrating the life of my father. And um, I, I, I want people to get to know him and also um to to be to be able to um let him know let him know wherever wherever he is right now uh that i am really proud of him and that um through this show uh i know that thousands of you are listening hopefully um through this quick episode quick tribute to my father uh you'll i appreciate it that uh, after listening to this uh if you can say a little prayer for him um because he he needs our prayer so that's the uh, the main reason talaga why i'm doing this so that um um i can reach a lot of people and um And and um, he will get thousands of people praying for him, so that uh, um, he 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 hears us and uh, in a way, sana matuwa siya sa sa ating um, message for him and to God that uh, that he's okay. And I if. You didn't see I, I posted in the in my profile and in my in the Facebook group Blender's Facebook group, Facebook group yung ginawa kong eulogy for him uh which um touched a lot of people and um it it also was a uh, uh, Originally, uh, it, it was only for the people in the during the funeral mass. Uh, it was for family, but I decided to post it publicly because I wanted people to to um, get to know in, in 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 a short in my short speech uh, how proud. I am of my father. Um, kasi uh, hindi ko masyadong nababanggit ang dad ko sa sa in any of my podcasts I think and in, in any of my events. So um, I also want him to know how I am truly proud of uh, him. How we are proud of him and how and um na talagang I, I really, really love him. And so, um, I would like to read that eulogy uh, here in the podcast. And so, uh, let me just open up yung eulogy na yun. So, here we go. A tribute to Captain Percy De Leon. I stand before you today as the representative of a family still in shock 
and in grief. Captain Percy was a truly remarkable human being. Husband to Mercy, father to Ayen, Bambam, Cheche, and Dimples. Side note, Bambam ang aking nickname. Son to Jose, Marciana, brother to Denti, Nympha. Grandfather to Jake, Kyla, Colin, Nate, Nadine, and Caleb. Friend and inspiration to many, many people. Like most sons to their fathers, I have always looked up to him and was and was and always will be very, very proud of him and his accomplishments. This was especially true while I was growing up. I'd always find myself telling my classmates, friends, and anyone I knew that my dad is a pilot. In fact, I still do that today. I relish the reaction from people when I tell them my dad is an airline pilot and he's a captain at Philippine Airlines. And they would say, wow, your dad is a pilot. You're so lucky. I remember the many times, the many happy times he spent with him, daddy bringing us with him to his trips abroad. We spend our summer breaks in Honolulu, San Diego, Los, Los Angeles, San Francisco, and I once even spent Christmas with him, just the two of us, in Chicago. And during those times, with dad as the captain, I saw how everyone the crew, the passengers, and the people around him loved, respected, and admired him. I saw how his, how everyone's eyes lit up whenever they see him. And I always told myself, when I grow up, I wanted to be just like daddy. I wanted to have many, many friends too, and gain the respect and recognition of my peers. I wanted their eyes to light up when they see him, they, when they see me. I wanted to be just like daddy. During those flights, my most awaited part is when a few minutes after takeoff, daddy spoke on the intercom. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. I wanted to shout out loud to the top of my lungs. That's my daddy. That's my daddy. Years later, I will find out that daddy was actually a shy person and shunned the limelight must have been a big undertaking for him to speak to hundreds of passengers. And then my favorite part, especially during those long-haul flights, was when he would come out from the cockpit to check on me. He had to put on a coat to cover his pilot's uniform and take off his hat so that, so that passengers would not panic, thinking that nobody was flying the aircraft. It was on autopilot, of course. Then he will take me by the hand and bring me inside the cockpit and have me sit behind him while he lands the aircraft in the most perfect and safest landings you'll ever experience in your life. Passengers will even applaud him for those perfect landings, a gesture to thank daddy for keeping them safe, comfortable, and alive throughout the journey. Again, I wanted to shout to the world, That's my daddy. That's my daddy. Then, before leaving the plane, he would pick us up from our seats, now in his full pilot gear and his total handsomeness, tell us, Let's go. And then I would walk proudly, people staring at us and gushing, Siya ba yung pilot natin? Ang guapo. Lodi. And with my head, with my head held up high, I would say to myself, This is my daddy. This is my daddy. I am the son of Captain De Leon. And even as daddy retired from the airline industry after 30 plus years of loyal service, daddy in fact never took off his captain's hat. How can you tell? Well, he frequented a different kind of cockpit. Not the cockpits of uh, se- Boeing 747s, but the cockpits of Prolegon and Elorde during derby time. Yeah, mahilig siya sa sabong. Kidding aside, my daddy never retired. Daddy was still the captain to the workers of his business, the captain to his buddies and sabong mates, and of course, he was the captain to the De Leon family. We, the kids, in fact, call ourselves the Pacundos, his childhood nickname that I believe he doesn't like. Sorry, daddy. As a captain of the, Dele- of the Pacundos, Daddy took care of everyone, 
us, his kids, his grandkids, who he truly adores, and of course, the love of his life, Mama. I don't think it's a coincidence that their names, Mercy and Percy, rhyme. What do you think? Percy, Mercy. Mercy, Percy. Percy, Mercy. Diba? Talo pa ang Jaden. They are a perfect match. Mama is the love of his life. I don't have enough time to talk about their many decades of happy moments that we will always treasure. Except for the moment last Christmas, during our annual family photo taking, when he almost planted a Vic Soto kiss on Mama's lips, which caught everyone by surprise and made us all laughing hysterically and kilig at the same time. With all those happy memories, it is truly difficult to imagine imagine him not being alone, around. It's truly difficult to imagine him not being around. And, not, and I'm not sure how we will all cope. Dad lived a long and happy life and only succumbed to ill health right at the very end. As we gather here today to remember and commemorate his life, let us bid him farewell as we mourn the loss of a lively, dignified soul. A soul that brought joy and fulfillment to many and whose legacy will live on forever. I will see you again, Daddy. I would like to end this speech by shouting proudly, That's my Daddy. That's my Daddy. Thank you. Thank you for listening to this, uh, Blenders. Thank you for, for your support uh, throughout the years. And as I mentioned earlier, I hope in your own little way, uh, please say a little prayer for Captain Percy De Leon. Thank you and peace to everyone. Bye.